Hello there guys, Mark here. Welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a square knot rope mat. This mat is probably one of my favorites as far as looks go, but if we compare it to other mats, it takes a bit more time to do. For my project, I'm going to be using rope a quarter inch in diameter. In my case jute, but you can also use hemp, cotton, whatever you have. I'm going to cut 16 lengths, 3 feet each. After cutting my 16 strands, I'm going to line them up, one next to the other. Then, I'm going to take a piece of wood, place it over my ends, then clamp down my piece of wood on both sides of the ends to secure my strands in place. A small detail which I use is to spread apart my strands a little bit, it makes tying the first row a bit easier. The first row is going to consist out of 4 square knots. So we have 16 strands, 4 strands per square knot. So the first row has 4 square knots, try to keep them lined up. In the second row we are going to have a total of 3 square knots. Tied in between our first 4 square knots. Leave out the 2 strands on each side. So we have a total of 12 strands. Four strands per knot. One, two, three. So the second row, 3 square knots in between the knots of the first row. The third row is a repetition of the first row. So again, we have 16 strands, we are going to tie a total of 4 square knots, 4 strands per knot. One. Two, three, four.
So the third row, a total of four square knots, tighten between the knots of the second row. For the fourth row, we're going to repeat the second row. So we leave out two strands on each side. We have a total of 12 strands, so 3 square knots, 4 strands per knot. So the fourth row is a total of three square knots tied in between the knots of the third row. So as you have noticed, we are going to alternate between rows of four square knots, three square knots, and so on. For a square shaped rope mat, I'm going to tie a total of nine rows. So five rows with four square knots, and four rows with three square knots. Once we've tied our mat, it's time to finish it up by securing the ends. Here, we're going to be using a technique called common seizing. Essentially, we're going to be joining two ends together at a time. To do this, we're going to be using thread in about the same color as our rope. I'm going to be cutting lengths of about 2 feet 2 inches. The other supply needed is going to be a needle. Here I'm using a blunt needle called a harness needle. To seize two ends together, we take a piece of thread and we attach it onto the two ends. Here you can use the clove hatch or the constrictor knot. In my case, I'm tying a constrictor knot. Push the knot as close to the square knot as possible. Tighten up. Lay the standing end alongside the two ends. With your working hand, start wrapping around your two ends as well as the standing end. We're going to do a total of 8 wraps. So 1, 2, 3, and so on. Do this tightly. After the 8th turn, come up in between the two ends, like this. Attach your needle. Do a wrapping turn across your wraps, down on the left, up on the right, 
tighten up again across your wraps down on the left up on the right now pass under your bottom wrapping turn under towards the bottom then over your two wrapping turns then under the top turn like this tighten up remove your needle And in my case, what I like to do is tie the two ends together using the simple reef knot. Trim the ends, melt them. So that's one seizing. We have a total of 15 more to do. Once your ends are seized, trim them. For a bit of a cleaner look, I'm going to burn off the stray fibers off of my mat. So guys, that's our mat. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial and I do invite you to join me in my future videos as well.